Yeah, and today's election here in Kansas, the primary election, is the first major run in Kansas of the new requirement that all voters must show a government-issued photo ID at polling places today. Take a look. We caught up with Secretary of State Chris Kobach today at polling places. He visited Wyandotte counties, Johnson County, and Shawnee counties today. He said the new photo ID law is going well in this first major run, and he said that more than 80% of voters in Kansas back in 2011 wanted the requirement passed to prevent voter fraud and keep illegal immigrants from voting. He he says very, very few people have resisted. In uh, Hutchison uh, last week, uh, a, a judge was advance voting, a retired judge, and uh, he went to the courthouse to cast his ballot in advance, and he left his photo ID in the car, and he, he said he shouldn't have to show a photo ID because he, his picture was on the wall somewhere in that building. And, uh, you know, I, th I found it kind of amusing because, you know, the way the law works in America is everybody's equal before the law, so it doesn't matter whether you're a judge or not. Uh, and he said that judge eventually went back to his car and did get his photo ID. Now, critics of this law say thousands of people will be affected in the 10 states that now have the new photo ID requirement because they have no access to a vehicle that gets them to state offices that issue those photo IDs. But Kobach says only 84 people have failed to show their IDs since local elections and since this law has been passed. And he said very few people have resisted, mostly by choice. In Overland Park, Amy Holly. 41 Action News.